identifying linear equations, or excuse me, identifying linear functions given ordered pairs. For each function, state whether it is linear. Okay, so what I'm looking for here is um, if my change in y, and I'm going to use the delta y notation there, my change in y is constant over my change in x, and I use delta x. So if my change in y is constant over my change in x. So for each function here, I'm going to compare my y values and compare my x values, okay? So I'm going to start with the x values here. So in coordinate pairs, I'm looking at ju just the first number, my x values. And I can see that here from negative 5 to negative 2, it went up 3. And from negative 2 to positive 1, again, it went up 3. And from positive 1 to positive 4, again, it went up 3. So I have this consistent uh, interval in my x values of 3, or I'm skip counting by plus 3. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the y values. So now I'm looking at just the second number in every coordinate pair, okay? Just the y values. So from 5 to 4, I went down 1. From 4 to 3, again, down 1. And from 3 to 2, again, down 1. So now, if I write it in this form, right, my delta y or my change in y, it was consistent every time my y value went down 1. Okay, so delta y is down 1 or negative 1. My change in x, right, was also constant or consistent. That was plus 3. Okay, so since they were both consistent, this one is linear, right? But let's look at this one. So again, we're going to look at just the x values, okay? So from negative 2 to negative 1, I added 1, and again, from negative 1 to 0, I added 1, and from 0 to 1, I added 1. So this was a consistent add one pattern for my x's, okay? Now I'm going to look at just the y's, so 4, 4, 4, 4, okay? Now here, I don't have, it's not going up or down, but it is staying consistent, right? I'm adding 0, okay? So this one is linear, Okay, because I had a consistent chain or a consistent pattern of add zero in my y's. They're not asking for the slope, but if they did ask for the slope of this line, right, my change in y is zero, my change in x is one, zero divided by one is zero. Whoops, I went off the screen there. Zero divided by one is zero. Right, so this is a line with a slope of zero, or it's a horizontal line, okay? Um, this one right here, okay? The tables are actually a little easier to see because our x's are all lined up and our y's are all lined up this way. So you can see here, for a consistent change in x, right, this time we're not going up by one every time, I'm actually going up by four but it's a consistent change in x, right? I'm going to now look at my y's. So negative 5 to negative 10, that is a difference of 5, okay? Going down 5 or negative 5. Then from negative 10 to negative 14, this is not consistent. It changed. That time we only went down 4. And from 14 to 20, we're going down 6. So while this one is consistent, this one does not have a constant pattern of change. So this one is not linear, okay? 
Now again, this last one, my X is, I have a consistent interval here of plus two. My Y's, to go from negative two to one, that's a plus three. From one to four is another plus three. And from four to seven is another plus three. So since my Y's are changing consistently when my X's change consistently, this one is linear. If they asked for the slope, they're not, but if they did, my slope would be three over two or three halves.